Today in Luther's Kitchen, Mom's here and we're making kibbe balls, which are like Lebanese meatballs. To begin with, we're sauteing a lot of onions in some olive oil. We're getting those nice and translucent before adding in some lean ground beef. I've already toasted some pine nuts, that's gonna go in the filling. And I'm gonna start to soak some bulgur wheat, so I'm soaking it in water until all the water is absorbed. Once the meat is in the pot with the onions, you really need to get in there and mash it up really well. You want the pieces of meat to be pretty small because this is going in the inside of the meatball. Once your meat is cooked, there's probably gonna be a lot of liquid, some of it's water, some of it's fat, so it's best to drain all of that liquid out of the meat and discard that liquid. Now it's time to season the meat. Three seasonings go in this, salt, pepper, allspice. It's so important that you taste the meat. You wanna make sure you have the seasonings right before you start filling your kibbe balls. So now for the outside layer, again, I'm using bulgur wheat with raw beef and using my hands getting in there to really incorporate the bulgur wheat it's best if you have a bowl of ice water nearby so you can keep dipping your hands. You wanna keep the meat cold and you also need the water to help you get the bulgur wheat infused in the beef. This also gets seasoned with salt, pepper, and allspice. Now to make the kibbe balls, you wanna take a golf size ball amount of the exterior meat. That's the meat with the bulgur wheat and my mom's showing you how to do that by making a cup. Then you're gonna place the meat filling, which we added pine nuts to. So the meat filling has the sauteed onions, pine nuts, and the seasoning. And you wanna pinch the filling so that it doesn't ooze out. Now you're gonna put all of your kippy balls onto a baking sheet pan that has a layer of rendered butter or ghee or semna on top and on the bottom. This will help the kibbe balls brown in the oven. These bake at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, but it depends on the size. You can make really small ones, you can make large ones, so you just wanna make sure that the exterior meat is cooked before pulling them out of the oven. These are awesome as an appetizer or a main course. You can serve them alongside of Mediterranean rice. Here we're serving them with some Lebanese cabbage salad, pickled turnips, and Mediterranean rice. For this recipe and more, visit myclasscancook.com.